Hello, it's me again, Sean, and um, I hope you're keeping well at home uh, in these weird circumstances and times. Um, I thought I'd send out another bar at home video uh, because some of you might have seen my first video, which is out on YouTube and Movebank, which um, I delivered uh, about a week ago, I think, uh, to people that were wanting to keep their fitness up in ballet or some of the people that I used to teach at Albert Ballet in uh, the Ballet Boys Studios and I thought that I would send out another one uh, so that if you've used that and you're sick of it already then you can watch this one and um, do something new. I mean because I feel like we've got so much time we get bored of it easily so if I send out another class maybe you guys uh, will enjoy that as well. Um, I'll be demonstrating it in the same sort of format so I'll have my left hand on the bar demonstrating my right foot the first side and on the second side I will face the back. If you have trouble um, picking up exercises uh, like a lot of us do it might be best that whenever we switch um, sides, instead of you facing the back away from your monitor, if you switch where your bar is around your body uh, or chair or radiator or uh, kitchen towel, I don't know, whatever it is, um, do you <clears throat> switch it so you can see me still on the monitor and uh, follow me looking at me rather than mirroring, so that might be a little easier. Um, I'm going to start with a warm up with my feet. I'm going to start with my favourite exercise, the pony trots, uh, which I talked about in the first video. You start in parallel, so your feet should be hip width apart. And you start with a rise up, and you go over the left foot straight and the right foot in demi plie. Four pony trots, one, two, three, four. And then in both legs parallel again, we slowly roll up to three four, and we open our legs into a first position, one foot at a time, really steadily and not um, forcing our turn out here, just a nice easy first, and we turn to front with the right leg, flex into a coup de pied with the working leg, and we bend our left leg, and we turn you out, and close to first, we do exactly the same with the left foot, so we turn you out, flex and plie, and turn you and close. We then do turned out pony trots, starting with the right leg. So we go one, two, three, four. And here you want to make sure your hips aren't just wiggling from side to side. You keep them exactly where they are and you're using your, <clears throat> you go slightly up and you're basically using your calves and your demi point to go one, two, three, four. In first, we then do the same like we did in parallel. We plie and we roll up. And then we go tendu back with the right leg. Tendu, flex and plie and coup de pie. Tendu and close. And with the left leg, tendu, flex into coup de pie. And here you want your ankle and your ankle to kind of kiss. <laughs> um, not two meters apart for these ones and tondu and close. We then with the right leg, we do ton two tondus to the side, closing in. And then we do two tondus to the side with the left, closing in. We then do one tondu with the right leg, flex and plie to the side, and tondu and down, and tondu, flex and plie, and tondu, and back to first. We then take a small pull of bra from the side, four counts up to fifth, and we reach over and we recover. We then repeat this with the left. This is slightly quicker with the music. Um, over and up. We then roll through the feet and we balance in first position. We're on releve just to see exactly where our weight is. And um, if you're unsure of the exercise, I'll talk it through with um, when I'm doing it with the music. In parallel. And one, two, three, four. Roll up through both feet, keeping your bottom in line. Open to first, tondu front, flex and plie, tondu, tondu front, flex and plie, tondu, stay in first, four pony trots turned out, two, three, four, in first position, plie, 
roller. Tondu derrière with the right leg. Flex the plié. Derrière means behind in French. I'm getting carried away. <laughs> Two tondu to the right to the side. Keep your eye line straight ahead and left. One tondu to the right. Flex the plie. Tondu close first and left. Flex the plie. Pour de bras with the right arm. One, two, three, four, and one. Rolling up through the feet, balancing in first. Good, very good, I'm sure. <laughs> now we'll go into a demi plie. We'll start in first position with our left hand on your radiator or bar or chair. Um, and again, make sure it is slightly in front of you. The tendency is to have it exactly side, and what that will do is it will set your shoulders just slightly back, and everything that you'll do with your weight back, if you have it slightly first, it replicates where your arm would be in the first position uh, or second. Uh, bar is basically just a tool for when we get moving a little bit more when we're back in the studio soon. Um, so if you have that slightly in front of you, we'll start with one demi, we start with a breath actually. And we start with one demi plie, bringing the arms at first position. And then we take a small rise up, keeping the arms in first, release to second. We then take another demi plie with the arms going to first, but this time in the rise, we take our arms up to fifth. We then follow this with a grand plie, releasing the heels, two, three, four, followed by forward pull de bras, two, three, four, and then we tondu to a second and repeat this sequence. So this time we'll demi plie and we'll rise in second. We'll demi plie and we'll rise in fifth. We'll grand plie and this time the pour de bras goes towards the bar. And then we tondu to fourth. This is slightly different. We take one demi plie, on the second demi plie we run the jambe, bring our arm to second and our legs to fourth and um, the other leg. Plie and then we reverse this, bringing the right leg back to the front. We then keep this on tondu, we pull the bra over our front leg, keeping this nice and stretched and not putting too much weight on this foot because what will happen is if you put too much weight on the foot you'll end up sickling. So if you can have it light as if you're literally, it's an illusion really, because it's on the floor, but not too much weight. You pull the bra over with your arms fifth. You go through fifth position to tondu back. And we take our pull de bra derrière and closing into fifth to repeat the first sequence of the plie that we did for first and second. So we'll do plie. And this time we su su, not just a rise like in video one, we're bringing our front leg to the back leg. Instead of just rising up, we su su, think like you're in a straw, because um, who doesn't? Um, so that will be in first position with the arms, and then we'll take a grand plie, no we won't, take it up, and we'll take another demi plie, bring our arms up to fifth, and we rise. Then we take our grand plie, one, two, three, four, and this time we take our arms from first uh, preparatory position up to first, to fifth, and we combo back, and then we'll rest in between the other side. And um, so that goes first, second, fourth position with our slight difference in sequence, and then fifth position, and then we'll rest and we'll do the left side. I'll do it all with you again. Demi plie and rise. Demi plie and rise brings the arm to fifth. Grand plie one into a port of our forwards. Arm 
once go to fifth. And we try and do to second position. Repeat the sequence, Debbie Plie. And rise. Debbie Plie. at the end of an exercise to so just take a moment to breathe because uh, if you're on stage or sometimes you do have moments of obviously acting and not always moving so it's good to just take a moment to just relax and process what you've just done. So uh, now we're going to slow tondu starting in first position. We take two slow tondus going front. Let's go one and close first. One, close first. Two to the side. One, Close first and second. Two slightly quicker. One and one. And on course, this is in every position. We go front, side, back. So we go front and side and plie. Just to soften that energy because it's the same motion one after another. It's good to just again breathe. And then we'll repeat this from the back. So it's two tondus back, two tondus side, two tondus back quicker. Two times do side quicker. One back, one side, one front. So we go one and two. To the side. 
tightly, slightly quicker. One and side and back and side and front plie. Here, when we finish the exercise, we're balancing coup de pied with the music. So again, you have your toe on your ankle of your supporting leg. Again, try not to have your whole foot because what will happen, you have this lovely position. And um, it's not even about aesthetics, it's about injury prevention because if you have your line in a correct position, you're less likely to get injured when you're going to center and stuff like that. So let's give it a go. I would ask if you've got any questions, but I sadly won't be able to hear them. So yeah, maybe send me an email. <laughs> First position, warm up tondu. Really use those metatarsals. Slightly quicker now, front and side. Front side, back. And plie. Repeat from the back. Really think about your arm as well. Make sure it doesn't get too stiff. Slightly quicker. And back side front. Plie. Now just a gentle coup de pied balance. Literally not even releasing the arm yet. Practice your posture. And hold. Imagine that you have your arms off the bar. And back to first. Lovely, <laughs> I'm sure. I'll do the left side now, so again, feel free to change your position of your bar so you're using your other leg and you can still see me in the monitor. Starting in first position, turn your out, close to first, back to first, and side. Side. Think about that supporting arm. quicker tendu from fifth position. This exercise is using a lot of transfer of weight. Um, it's a little bit hard to pick up, but actually, hopefully it makes sense. Uh, we take two tendus front with the right leg, closing in, one and two. Then we change leg and use the inside leg back to take a single tendu. We then use a coup de pied with the outside leg to change feet. So quicker, that goes two tendus front, one and two. Inside leg, coup de pied, change. Then side, it's a little simpler, it's just two tendus changing leg, and then with the left leg, two coup de pieds changing leg each time. So these coup de pieds go up the front, round the side to the back, up the back, round the side to the front. And when we're going up from the back, be careful not to use your toe, because what it would do is it would take not so nice of a line, whereas if you use your heel, it uses the exact same line as your foot replicates. So from front, from the beginning, we take two tondus front, two tondus front, one inside leg back, coup de pied and chain. Two to the side, two coup de pieds changing, two to the back, one inside leg front, coup de pied, then we take front and side and back tondus, front and side and back. We then repeat the whole sequence from the back. Just think you're taking two tondus with one leg and one tondu with the other. That way it's a little bit easier than thinking front, back, side. You're basically doing two with the same leg, one with the other, change with the cube. Two to the side, 
Q to PA changing each time. Each time we do a Q to PA in this exercise, it's basically, instead of balancing, it's using as a through movement to change legs. And then at the end of this sequence, we'll balance in our Q to PA front, really test where your weight is here, and then we'll take through fifth position, we'll transfer and do Q to PA back and balance there with the music. Um, feel free to rewind this video if the sequence is taking enough time or do it twice. Um, I will do it once each side with you with the music. Good luck! with the speed as well so really if you want to do it again just slightly rewind but my trick of always remembering exercises is to chunk them so the first chunk was the bit where we tondu use the inside leg back that's a sequence that we use for the front and the back the side is different because we only took two tondu side and two coup de pied side so once you basically have your own pattern in your head, it's easier to basically build like Lego bricks of an exercise rather than having a whole chunk, a uh, little tip from me. But that's just what I think of it anyway. And I know it's easier said than done because I've set the exercise, but you know, if you're going for auditions or just using this as time to keep fit and stuff, it's, it's good to challenge your brain. So that's why I made it a little hard. And um, now I'm gonna do my favorite penguin step that I did in video one. I'd like to reiterate, because I don't think I made it clear on my first video, that the idea is not to look like a penguin, but this exercise inevitably makes you feel like a penguin. And we're basically going to be doing eight glissés, so it's a little bit smaller than a jeté, um, off the floor, eight from first position with the right leg, eight with the left, four with the right, four with the left, two with the right, two with the left, one with the right, one with the left, plié, and repeat it all from the left. Uh, you'll be facing the bar, and it will go in, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then four. Just think half. And four. Really transfer the weight on each side. And then two. And two. And one. And one. And clear. And we'll repeat it all starting with the left leg. The idea is, again, not to look like a penguin, but you do want to transfer your weight and not be left in the middle. Because we're going through first position, the tendency is to keep your weight in the middle of both legs. But what that will do is incent, if you try and lift this leg, you'll have found that your placement of your own weight is pulling you basically in the middle. You want to be on your supporting leg so that your working leg has enough movement and uh, space to actually move. Um, 
And yeah, the idea again here is not to have your toe in line with your heel. Your hips will um, be all over the place that way. If you can have your toe in line with your supporting leg's toe, so if I sit on the line over here, I've set my working leg at this line. So you want to have your jeté is going line here that way. If not, actually a little bit more forward. That way you've got a better hip placement and your technique of your feet will be much, much better. The idea is basically in this exercise to use your inside thighs and your feet. Uh, it's not about turning out and whacking, uh, although <laughs> I've already still tried, but you no, know, it's, it's more about uh, stability and keeping your inside leg. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight on the left. Feel free to test your balance at any point. And for the right. We start with two jetés and one and two. We devil play through coup de pied, extend and pique and close. This we do front, side and back. So we go one and two, devil play out, keep it out and pique. So this pique, pique is to prick. So you're thinking of like pricking. If you had your finger on a needle or not, please do not try this at home. That's a massive disclaimer. But if you did and you pricked it, you wouldn't want too much time on that needle, otherwise you'd stop bleeding. So just think that you, you've pricked yourself sewing. It's that action. So one, two, double pay, PK, out. One, two, double pay, PK, out. Now here we take two envelopes back inside. So an envelope is the exact reverse of a devil pay. So we go extend out first and go into coup de pied and then we plie and we go envelope, coup de pied, plie. That will be with our left hand on the bar, but I just demonstrated it to the side so you can see me over the angle. And then after we've done that, we then take a jeté out, cloche back and plie to repeat the whole sequence from the back. So it's two jetés with a double pay PK front side and back, and then we take two envelopes in and in, jeté cloche and close. Um, and then we'll do that all from the back. After we've done the exercise, then we're going to balance now in a retiré position. So, so far we've only been doing coup de pied just to warm up the legs, but a retiré is basically our goal here. It's going to be replicating the position that you would want to turn in if we were to do pirouettes. Um, so we'll balance in retiré, and again, feel free if it's too easy for you to take the arm off the bar. It's a really good way of testing where your weight uh, has been throughout the exercise and where your weight tends to go when you're in that position. And again, if your weight back, it means you probably would have turned back. Um, so yeah, let's give it a go. Jetés. And two, double pay pique. And two, double pay pique. And two, double pay pique. On the pay. Jeté cloche. And two, jeté double pay pique. And two, jeté double pay pique. And two, jeté front double pay pique. On the pay and side cloche front. Routine. Thank 
back, side, jeté, cloche, two, jeté, so we play pique, two, jeté, side, two, jeté, front, on the play, Take a cloche devant, going through first to derriere on the à terre. Just go front and back. Then we take this slightly off the floor into more of a glissé position and back. We then take two slow rond de jambes, one and two. We take two quicker, one and two. On the third, we take a combre over our legs like we did in our grand plié in fourth. Uh, and then we take a rond de extending the arms out to open fifth. So our arms go from fifth out to open fifth and really take this time to use your upper body. So after our two quicker rond de we'll go over the front and extend round. And then we'll take two quick again. This time, leaving the arms in second, we just go front, coup de pied, derriere and close. And we repeat this all again. So we take a cloche back and from just off the floor, just off the floor, two rond de jambe. These are slow. Then these are quicker, one and two. On the third, we use exactly the same pour de bras, but this time our leg is going the opposite way. And we take two rond de jambe, and we take derriere, coup de pied, devon. Then after this, we'll take our pour de bras, so we go front, over the front leg with the arms and fifth, extending up to neutral. We'll then take a combo back and here you want to keep your, lo your lower spine where it is and think that you're peering over a wall to see someone. Don't crunch into your lower back because you really don't want them this time to get injuries in your um, spine. Um, so really think of going up and over. We then take a pull to our side over, away from the bar, and we take a pour de bras towards the bar, and then we take in fifth position just to suit a new balance, and we extend and close. Be careful on the side that you're actually not going too literally side, because again your ribs will tend to pop out. If you think that you go slightly, project your arm that you're going over slightly forward, uh, and you should be able to see it. If it's too far back, your weight will most likely go back, far back. And if you're managing to stay still, you're probably gripping muscles that you shouldn't. And again, that's where injuries tend to creep in. So our rond de jambe starts in first position with two cloches on the floor. Two cloches just off the floor. We then take two slow rond de jambes, two slightly quicker. And on the third one, we take our port de bras. We take two quicker again. And then on our third one, we cloche front, coup de pied and back. And we'll repeat this all from the back and then take our pour de bras section, which goes over the legs, back, side, side, and balance. Good luck. Starting in first position, two cloche. Cloche front. Just off the floor. Two on the shoulders. Slightly quicker. With a pull of bar now. Slightly quicker. Keep the arms in second. And front. Coup de pied out. And back. Front. Off the floor. Slightly slow. Keep the shape of that supporting arm. Too quicker. Pull of bar. Front. Now relax over the leg. And back. Away from the bar. Towards the bar. Fifth position. Balance.
first to second and we plie with a coup de pied and we extend to 90 degrees with our leg and our arms in second. We then fondue into an attitude position with both legs and extend to relevé front. We then do the same with our inside leg back. So you go plie, extend to straight leg, attitude plie and release and close to fifth. Now the side is the same, open to 90 extend into an attitude and release and we take three rond de jambes two and three and hold and we really we repeat this all from back so it's fondue back attitude and extend fondue front attitude and extend the idea here is to use that attitude to convey your body and really relax into a fondue to then extend to show the opposite sides of plie and extending. And then we do side, rond de jambe, rond de jambe, rond de jambe to finish that side. Uh, good luck. <laughs> I will do it both sides. And I think it would be really good if you can to go into the left side straight away. If not, pause and start again. But I'm going to run through both exercise, uh, both sides back to back because it's a really good stamina uh, exercise if you can. Obviously, if you have to take time to change where your bar position will be, that's absolutely fine. Pause the video. But if you can, just suit a new to the other side. Try it. That's what I'm going to do. Fondue. Jump. 
Well done if you manage to go into both sides. It is a bit of a leg killer, so make sure you stretch out your legs properly before we start our Batman Frappe. <laughs> Starting in fifth position, we go from first to second with the arms and we release up into a coup de pied with a flex foot with our working leg. We go front and side and front. We go side and side and side. We go back and side and back, we go side, and side and side. So that's one front, one side, one front, one side, two side, one back, one side, one back, two side, and one and two. Now, after we've done that, we go with a double if you can. We go back, front, 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 back, side, front, back, 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 front, side. Repeat that all from the back. So that's gone front, side, back, side. Now we'll go back, side, front, side. So basically, every time we go to the front, you want to think back, front, out. And side is either front, back, out, or back, front, out. And to the back, we go front, back, out. So you want to beat to the opposite way before you're going to the way you're going. That's the confusing thing. But if you let your legs roll, and the more you practice it, the more time goes on, the more it becomes easier. So that second section of the exercise goes back, front, front, side, back, side, back, side, front, side. So to go right back from the beginning, because there's one little bit extra, I do like making a frappe hard. Uh, so we've gone front and side and front. We go side to quick, uh, back and side and back and side and side and side into our front side back side back side front side the last little bit is over to release under to release rondo jean rondo jean double tendu fifth just that, I say just that. So be really careful on these back front that you're doing the back front out, front back out. Don't, on the side, think too big. You wanna keep it small so the action is the out, not the back one. Uh, and also on the side, think to strike your, it's not your whole foot going, it's just your toes. Basically your metatarsals are the things that are gonna be working here. Um, and then after that, We'll take a breather before the left side. We won't go straight into the other side for this one, don't worry. Starting flex front. And front. And side. Side. Two quicker. And back. And side. And side. Two quick. Second section. Back on front. Side, back, side, back, side, front, side, and cue. Under, and one, two, double, breathe. I'm sure that was lovely. Be careful as well, when we're doing this, it's slightly quicker, two, three. So you want to keep your hips where they are on plie. Don't think about extending up each one. It's basically to replicate in the centre when we be doing pity allegro. It's so quick that any time you extend over the energy that you need to, it'll basically hinder your progress. So make sure that you keep it one, two down and really quick. It'll help you uh, in the centre and actually picking up the exercise. So left side. Starting flex foot. Two, double, tonic, close. 
You did it. Woo! Now we're going to do a practice four and um, rond de jambe on l'air. Stuff that might help your stability for fouettes, turns in second, uh, basically developing your technique, but some a really simple exercise so that and you start in fifth and you extend out twice, almost like a grand back one, into second, changing over. So you go one, goes back to fifth, two, back to fifth. On the third, take three, one rond de jambe, and one double. And repeat, side, back to fifth, side, back to fifth, side, one rond, one double. See so if you can go straight to the left side here, because it's about the stamina of your leg. If that's too easy on a flat foot, every time we go second, go to releve, because that will be again replicating what we'll be doing when we're turning. Um, be careful when you hold it, that your position is correct. Think slightly in front of you and not to the side. Again, your hips might display uh, and again, hinder you holding your leg. The idea here is to try and sustain it even for a millisecond to get that control. Um, so yeah, let's see how it goes. through the first position into our arabesque and close. Repeat from the back. And one, second one, pique and cloche, two. Now be careful here that you've got enough to your room to your side. If you don't, slightly angle yourself to the front so again you don't hit anything to the side. And we then take four normal grommet ones to the side. One, two, three, four. Extend out, release in, extend out, Tondu fifth, repeat all from the back. So it's one normal grand back one, one pique, one cloche, and close. From the back or the front, depending which side we're talking about. And then from the side is four normal grand back ones. And on the fifth one, we release, really try and extend and kick that leg. And think again, you're still controlling where your hips will be, but don't, don't stiffen it. Really think to release, this one is just to relax the legs because grand back ones can become quite stiff. Um, and then after that, after we've done about that one, we'll just basically calm the front and up and chasse, tendu front. Now here, up to you whether you want to do a plie arabesque balance or you can take it all the way down into a ponche and release. I'll demonstrate both ponche on the first side and plie arabesque on the left. Um, this is basically just to get a variety at the end uh, of your bar. Enjoy. Go on, Batman. <laughs> side and actually the ponce, a ponche in line where you are. You probably see that my technique is a bit squiffy, uh, spare with, but yeah, try and get it as basically 
this is to replicate what you'd be doing in centre and stuff. Um, so yeah, let's try the left side. participate in this class is a little shorter than the first video um, but yeah feel free to interchange between both uh, sessions I really hope you've enjoyed it and uh, make sure you stretch out after it and don't get stiff and watch those Netflix that's for later <laughs> um, enjoy and please stay well and sending you all my love and uh, hope to see you all soon Mwah.